TV fans, welcome to Tori Talks TV. I'm Tori. And I'm Dr. S. On this episode, we'll be reviewing WandaVision episodes one and two. This was on Disney Plus. It's a part of the Marvel comic universe and it stars Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen. So this series really pays homage to like the 50s TV sitcom, but it's mixed in with these like superpowers. So it's very intriguing at first watch. Yeah, I agree. I um, don't know much about, okay, when I say don't know much, I really mean I don't know anything. This is I a disclaimer admit- for anybody watching. <laughs> we are not well versed in Marvel comics. So no, I've seen some movies throughout the years, but admittedly, I haven't seen either of the Avengers movies. And I know these characters are like from there. So literally know nothing except for what I've read here and there in certain articles. So yes, it's same here. So there might be some Easter eggs that's very apparent to you, but it definitely went over our head. Um, so comment below and let us know because like, you're probably going to have a lot to say to us. Um, give us a little bit of an education, but I will tell you, I read about the backstory. So this is what I heard. Mm-hmm. Let me know if I'm wrong. So Avengers Infinity War is where Wanda was forced to kill Vision uh, to stop Thanos from getting the Mind Stone. Although Thanos went back in time and then killed Vision again right in front of Wanda. So Thanos ultimately snaps Wanda out of existence and then Wanda return in Adventures Endgame, very angry and kind of unstable and crazy, but Vision was still dead. So then this is where we would pick, we would pick up from there, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I I don't think we don't know what the heck's going on, but I don't think even if you've seen those movies, you're not supposed to know what's going on either. Right, That's because, the big question. Because Vision's supposed to be dead. Right. So this whole, well, there's only been two episodes, but both of them felt very like, bewitched or even like Pleasantville like Mm -hmm. and that's very amusing to me because I'm a huge fan of the older sitcoms and that Mm -hmm. sure so I found it to be very entertaining I did too well I love tv and I think and for one from what I've seen from like the marketing materials it's gonna go across the decades of tv so it started in the 50s and then we saw it kind of go to the 60s in the second episode and it's gonna progress through like the different decades of sitcoms oh and not only do I love tv but I love sitcoms so I think this is gonna be like really fun I think so too. And I don't feel like left out, you know, since we don't really know much about it, I still think mm-hmm. it was very entertaining for not knowing. But the the best part about it is the mysterious side is like, they don't even know what's going on. I mm-hmm. love that, right? Yeah. So like what I'm trying to figure out is like, they are superheroes or comic characters, but they're the stars of this TV show because we see the credits. Yes. So, but- what's reality and what's not like what and then she kind of like bends reality he said somebody mentioned something about her bending reality so is this it's like is she making this like is it her way of bringing him back to life because he's dead you know like what what the heck is happening that's what i thought too because they said that you know when she comes back in adventures endgame she's not really all there you know obviously after these tragic deaths i guess like her brother died too so that's what i thought was maybe like this is her alternate reality because she's going a little crazy Mm -hmm. um exactly but i will tell you i saw um s-w-o-r-d sword the logo on when they pan back and you can see the somebody's in like a controlling everything Mm -hmm. And then also the beekeeper had the sword logo. And then that was interesting when she looked at it and she's like, no. So that's Mm -hmm. like, okay, so she does have some control. Yeah. Yeah. And the, but, but then she obviously doesn't have full control because something's breaking in, right? Like it's supposed to be in the 50s sitcom format, like black and white. But then why do we see like the helicopter that looks very like um, Iron Man-ish to me? I did see Iron Man, (laughs) you know, and then like the blood on, um, uh, shoot, I the forgot neighbor. her name. Yeah. yeah, her hand that's red. And so like there's things like seeping in. So I don't know, like competing, like who's in control of who type questions. Right. It makes you definitely want to like keep watching to figure out what the heck's going on. Yes. And you know what really, which part really like got me wondering or thinking was when the boss's wife, when he was choking and she's like, stop it, stop it, <sighs> repeatedly saying it. And then she looks at her like, stop it. Like, yeah like telling her to make it stop. I don't know. It's also confusing. Yes. That was a very weird scene. Like the tone of it was very, like it was so uncomfortable. I didn't know like what 
they were going for but I mean I think we were supposed to feel uncomfortable but yeah. I was just like oh, what's happening here this is turning dark and I think if we knew the their story a little better because she kind of commands him she's like vision help him so mm -hmm. I don't know what like the yeah. dynamic between the two of them if that's yeah. how it usually is and then mm -hmm. uh, you know one of my biggest questions is like are the people of Westview like in on this secret? <laughs> this secret, like, <laughs> is it like a Truman Show type thing? You oh, know, yeah. like assimilation. I don't understand. Yes, <laughs> or like um, a good place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm not really sure, but I love that we're asking all these questions because that's what makes this show so fun. And there's only been mm -hmm. two episodes, and if you mm -hmm. notice, the first episode was shorter than the second, and I feel like they're going to get longer as they go on. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it was more like contained. It was like almost completely the 50s sitcom. Yeah, and there wasn't as many ruptures. And then as we got into the second episode, I mean, obviously things were like crumbling around them and they were doing that whole like talent show to like cover for themselves. Yes. <laughs> oh my awesome. gosh. The hijinks of 50s television is so like just silly, you know, compared to today, yeah. which is kind of nice. It kind of takes us out of this crazy reality we're in right now. And mm -hmm. then of course the end of season or of episode two, when they take away the monochrome palette and it's color. And mm -hmm. but then like right. now we're going into the next decade, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we're trying to, to get at. And um, so I may not get the whole like Marvel Comics Universe references, but I do recognize and appreciate that Emma Caulfield is in it, who was Anya and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes! It took me a second to like put it together, but I was just like, oh, I me hope that we too. get to see her more, right? Oh my I gosh, her. I missed her face. Yeah, she's part of the TV family. Yes, yeah. that was a very pleasant surprise. Um, I know that this is Marvel's first attempt at a sitcom, and I think they really delivered. Yes. So yes. I don't even think you need to have seen anything, you know, Marvel comic universe style. Like, I don't think you need to know anything about it to really enjoy this. Yes, I totally agree because it's kind of smart, you know, like movie making or TV making to have yeah. something that both caters to the fans and then also to people who you could like introduce to that world. Yes. And, and I have to say Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen are amazing and they're really fun to watch and they're doing so great charming. Job. They have such great chemistry. I can yeah. see why they were... Yeah, cast for Avengers. Avengers, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to make sure I get this right. I, I want to do it justice because it was very good. All right. Well, do you have anything else to add? No. I'm good. really excited for what this series is going to bring. Yeah. So we're going to keep reviewing weekly. Um, please join us every single week and um, we'll talk about it. And please do comment below and let us know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. <laughs> and then like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.